hi engineers this is chef Gina academy so welcome to my channel in today's video i'm going to be discussing about the registration process of the current so in the last couple of videos i've created content on how to register as a member of current and nse so i've discussed extensively on the nse part so in this video i will starting with registration with current so this is the current official website we already know what current stands for it's council for registration of uh engineers in nigeria so this is a government uh harms like it's a government setup so unlike the nse that is a voluntary uh something i hope you understand so if you want to be known as a registered engineer in nigeria you have to pass through the current i hope we get that so we'll be looking at the process of registration and the guidelines given by the current so but before we go to that we have to understand the category in which you can register into in current just like the way we have in nse that the we have category of registration based on your qualification and other stuff so we only have about four category of registration so the first one is the engineers either you have a bsc or b engine or b tech in engineering or you have hnd in engineering feed plus current accredited pgd program in the same feed so this is what they mean they've already explained it they say hnd civil engineering you have hnd civil engineering you also have pgd civil engineering know that you have hnd civil engineering and you're going to do pgd computer so they will not accept that i hope you get so then if you also have a diploma but your diploma is engineer for a continental europe that is it's outside the country so they can accept that so these are the requirements for you to be able to register as an engineer that is for you to be able to put engineer in front of your name i hope you understand but for guys that are that can register as engineering technologists technologist is a lower is lower to engineer you know in the hierarchy of engineering so we start with the uh, craftsmen then we have the technicians we have the technologists and we now have the engineer so for technologists you must have hnd in engineering from a current accredited polytechnic or monotechnic or you have a degree in engineering from a particular this is not actually for people within nigeria then you must these are the requirements or you have a tech in engineering from some of the accredited american university so you can also register as an engineering technician this is for hnd guys if you have hnd in, sorry nd national diploma in engineering from an accredited polytechnic or monotechnic or you have a full technical certificate maybe either you went to a technical school something like that then advanced technical diploma then for people that can register as craftsman you must have work or you have naptep so those are the requirements so i know most of us are actually interested in registering as either engineer or engineer tech engineering technologist so for engineers you must have bsc or bng or b tech in engineering or if it is hnd you have you have to go through the pgd program before they can register you as an engineer but if you don't want to go through the pgd program you can use your hnd to apply as an engineering technologist so that's just it. that's the summary of the registration from the current so let's now look at the process in which you have to undergo the summary of it in subsequent video i'm going to be, be creating a deeper insight in each of the documents you need for your registration so before we continue to the process of registration if this is your first time on my channel i create civil engineering design so you can check out my website chefgenacademy.com if you want to learn about structural design so make sure you subscribe to this channel if you've not subscribed and for those of you that are subscribed i really appreciate you for doing so you can like this video and 
share it with your colleague so the current registration process you can actually find this in their web on their web page but i've already printed it as a pdf to make it easy to understand so i'm going to attach this pdf to the description of this video so the application is online you start with an online application so just like the nsc you have your online application you have the technical reports you have the oral interview or exam so it's just something similar but a little bit different in terms of some little things i hope you understand so the first thing that was written here is that if you have inaccurate information if you supply information that are wrong then this will lead to automatic disqualification so then the next point after that is application of processing and interview fee are not refundable so your application fee is non-refundable because we have some people that actually wrote this korean exam and failed so you have to write it again and for you to rewrite again you have to make another payment so below is the guideline on document to be submitted for registration and your examination scoring sheets so the first of them is to download the proposal when i was talking about the nsc registration i talk about proposal i said proposal are registered engineers that are financially active and up to date that can recommend you and testify to your experience i hope you understand so that's what it means so you can download the proposal or and work experience form so for the work experience i will be creating another video to explain in detail this work experience report how it should be so then i'll say before you start filling the application form online as this is a requirement among the document to be uploaded during the registration process please ensure and confirm that two proposals are up to date in the payment of the annual practicing fee you can see it seems and the proposal must not propose more than four applicants in a year i hope you understand so if i propose that if i if you are a registered engineer and you want to serve as a proposal for someone you can't have more than four applicants in a year so and also you should download the new guidelines this new guideline is just talking about the registration maybe i'm going to talk about it in this video if we still have time so then the next thing is you now click on the link to visit the registration page so you can easily copy this this is the link you can copy it and paste it in your website url so the third point is a standard passport photograph with the following specification so your passport that you are going to attach is going to be in colored printed on photo quality paper then the size such that the head is between one inch to one 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 o number three by eight inches so between 25 to 35 millimeters from the bottom so they just try to explain how the passport should the sizing of the passport then this passport must be taken in within the last six months then the background should be white or off-white background plain white or off-white then it should show your full face facing the camera then do know where he at so that it will not cover your face or something and they also mentioned that no t-shirt this is really funny no t-shirt wow so the f after your passport the, <laughs> the next thing is probably the reason why they don't want your t-shirt is maybe the polo can cover your i don't know something like that so then the first point is you are expected to fill all the basic detail required before proceeding to make any payment so you have to complete your detail then you should also ensure to use a valid email address and phone number because they can easily reach you and communicate with you especially your email address then you have to choose your category you know i've actually i've already explained the category in the first uh in the first part of this video either engineer or engineering technologist engineering technician or you register as a craftsman so each of these category i'm sure they have a different fee in which you can make your payment so they say you might decide to pay online that is you can pay online 
or you print a remitter this is really stressful for you to print a remitter go to bank and so i don't think anybody will want to go through that method so it's best to just pay online the seventh point is you have to click on the login button to continue with your registration then on successful login you know you've, you will have already created an account so on successful login click on application tab by the left it will load all the information you expected so these are all the things you need to know so then after you've been able to log in you see i think there are about five or six tabs we have education where you are going to input your education where you log in your work experience your membership of engineering bodies what they mean by this is if you're already a graduate member you can actually put that you know when you register as a graduate member you have a, a number so you can put that number and their and your details in it it's even make it easier then click on the document tab to upload all relevant document all these documents i'm going to explain them how they are going to look then you are required to scan and upload original copies of your credentials your credentials is going to be your degree nyc certificate all of that then no single upload should be more than 500 kilobytes i think all these things are just straightforward so they now mentioned that applicant registered with Corrin as a technologist can apply as an engineer one year after obtaining their pgd so let's say you have your pgd and you now want to upgrade from technologies to engineer that means it have to be one year after you've acquired the pgd so that is how to make the registration then the first point is applicant writing professional interview must upload their certificate and bring it to the exam venue so for those of you for the part that they will be writing ex interview registering as an engineer so you have to bring your certificate to the aura or interview venue so there's going to be an interview we are going to discuss about that but that that's going to be in, in another video so wrong entry of qualification or information will attract charges and penalties this is no nonsense so they say hnd orders and pgd must arrange first as first qualification second qualification i hope you understand so if you have hnd or pgd you arrange hnd as your first qualification then you put pgd as your second qualification then they also mentioned that the applicants with professional qualification are requests are to request the institution to send their transcripts so if you have a professional certificate so you have to request your school to send your transcript to them so this is how most institutions used to receive transcripts and they have a, a way of uh, selecting your transcript so it's, it's it's usually delivered manually or you can actually send it to their mail so this is the detailed information if you want to send it manually this is the address you are going to send it to then if you want to send it via email address that is through their mail so this is how you have you have to send it so i'm going to leave this video i'm going to leave this pdf in the description of this video you can check it then the 17 point is candidates who lost the original copies of their credentials should produce the following document in case you lose your original copy so you must have extract from police on the lost certificate you must have an affidavit attestation letter from the issuer of the certificate from your school and your convocation list so <clears throat> we pray we not lose our certificate but if you find yourself in that mess so they have actually they have covered you then all payments are made and they are non-refundable you can see this is boldly written <laughs> and then uh, if you have a complaint following your payment these are the numbers you can call so and you can call them between 8 a.m and 4 p.m so the processing timeline for nigeria is six months that is after you finish all the registration required your processing timeline if you're a nigerian applicant is six months i hope you understand so this is briefly rushing through the registration process of the current so you have to register online 
and some of the documents you upload online is going to be your certificates then you also have to upload your uh passport you have to upload a passport then you also have to upload your education so in your in the registration you fill your basic information your contact details your educational background your work experience the membership of engineering bodies so for non-nigerians you have to provide non-nigerian extra information so that is roughly how the current uh registration goes so in our next video we discuss about the you know everything here is basic the basic your information the only technical part we involve the the work experience report because you have to upload the work experience report then aside from that you also have to we have to talk about the interview so that will that's going to be in another video i hope you've learned one or two things in this video if you want to get this pdf you can check the description of this video i will leave the link to download it in the description so you can also visit the korean official website korean.gov.ng so that's their official website all these things i'm explaining here can actually be found on their website you can see become a registered and recognized engineer so this is the gu registration guideline and the examination scoring sheet so you can check through them so and some of the things you can also do with this current website is you can register your firm if you have a consulting firm or something so you can register it here then you can also verify if a firm is registered so from here no all these things actually attract a fee so that is that about Korean registration process in our next video we are going to be discussing about the interview we also discuss about the technical report you have to write so thank you see you in the next one make sure you subscribe thanks you are supposed to add in the report so thank you we are going to meet in our next one